So we are just what like five miles now from Monterey or from Hannah Field and uh, I don't see the field yet. The runway runs parallel to the mountain there. I think I see it. There's a there's a, a, gl yeah. a gash in the trees. Yeah. I'll bet that's it. With a clearing up to the right. Yep. Yeah. Comma shaped. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the left tank here. All right, it's off. Just the mixture. The 50 to 100 feet to go. And Hannah Field, Pacer 334 to Zulu is about three and a half miles to the east, uh, inbound uh, landing Hannah Field, uh, landing to the southwest. I'm not sure if anybody's there or monitoring anything, but always good to announce. Not in November. I think I see the field, okay. I need Zulu, I'm going to hang on until we're over the, uh, over the, uh, ski resort. Okay. Landing light is on. I don't see anybody down there yet, huh? I see a camper, uh, an RV type camper, maybe uh -huh. two. Yeah. I don't see any airplanes. It looks like the hangar door is open, though. Yeah. I don't see any aircraft. And Hannah Field, uh, Pesa Photos is turning uh, to a left downwind 2-2 uh, two, two, Hannah Field, full stop. Traffic is on. That's kind of a tight 45. Huh? <laughs> okay, yes, there's at least one camper. Oh, you're right, there's, there, there are two camper RVs. So. Hey. okay, landing light on, carpet is set, right is off, left is on, mixture is set. Down. And Hannah Field, Pesa for two to the left base, uh, two two Hannah Field, full stop. You can't really see the runway until you almost turn final. And Hannah Field, uh, Pesa for two turn final, two two Hannah Field. It almost looks like they put a center line there. <laughs> oh man, what is the wind doing here? It looks like a little bit like an uh, aircraft carrier landing because you have this steep bank here right in front of the beginning of the runway here. Okay. Off, landing light out. People in the hangar. Not running over anything. There's a little bit of a dip here. Keep going straight where you are. Perfect. You just got a marker there. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's firewood, that's good. Okay, that's the owner. Sorry. Okay, so... And off. Friend John and I, we flew into Hannah Field. Um, it's a little airstrip in the Virginia backcountry. Um, very nice grass field, uh, plenty long, it's about 2300 feet long. Um, anyhow, it's, it's Friday afternoon, November. Um, beginning November, and when I came here, even saw the uh, uh, it's going to be close to like freezing at night, but uh, there's a nice fireplace here. And tomorrow um, they're setting up for a barbecue lunch. They have a fly in here. So we're going to stay overnight and then uh, tomorrow we have lunch and then we fly back. So we set our camp. It's actually when the sun is out and the wind is down, it's actually quite nice. Um, So, but later we're going to go into town. Uh, they have a courtesy car here that we're going to use. We go into town, have dinner, and then later we're going to sit here by the fireplace and uh, maybe just play a little guitar and just uh, do stargazing or something. My friend John is walking the uh, strip, because um, he's wondering if he can get his uh, RV6A in here. Um, so he's walking the strip and see how smooth it is. Maybe next time we come with two airplanes. So it's Saturday morning. Uh, it was a, I don't know how cold it got, but it was probably close to freezing last night. Um, but it got up at around seven-ish or so, and uh, this uh, nice fellow here, he brought us some coffee. Uh, he's here in a camping trailer with his wife, and they, when they noticed that we lit the fire, he came out with some coffee, so really nice, and it's a beautiful uh, sunrise, so nothing but better than camping and uh, lighting a fire in the morning and having coffee and we're gonna have our breakfast here and watching the sunrise. And the owner here of uh, the field, uh, he, he has the, this Highland, a really nice airplane. Um, he's gonna go out for a little morning run. Um, it's a beautiful morning to fly, it's uh, dead calm 
nice and cold, so you should have some very good uh, performance. So here's the Highland. I'm coming back in uh, after the morning short flight. Lunch is served. So this is a really good turnout uh, here at the uh, Hannah Field flying. Um, I haven't counted the airplanes yet, but uh, there must be at least 30 airplanes here. Um, this is pretty much uh, the one side of the runway here, uh, to the west side. And then uh, also people start parking on the, uh, on the other side, on the east side uh, of the runway. Really great turnout. And there's still people coming in, there's still the airplanes uh, coming in. So this is actually all the way at the end of runway 22. <clears throat> so um, really good turnout, um, but it's probably about more like 20, 25 airplanes that flew in here. And lots of people, that's really good.
we are at 3,050 feet here. Let's get away from the crowd here first. I don't see anybody in the pattern. Oh, well, that's Jeremy coming, pushing out. So Jeremy only has a, a O290 in his cup. Hmm. 144, 145 horse? Approximately. No, I think it's 125. Wow. I can't see anything. Nothing straight ahead. Yeah. That's, that's what you have to rudder pedals for, right? <laughs> A nice approach. Really charging. Up. All pressure, all temperature is good. Put a notch of flaps. It's okay here. Repeat. Window. Doors. 1200. Landing light is on. Strobes are on. Okay. Let's see if that guy is off the runway. And uh, Hanna traffic pacer 334 to Zulu, uh, departing 22 Hanna field, left internal to the uh, northeast. Have a good flight, Jurgen. It was good seeing you. Same to you. What's that? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you were just saying, have a good flight. See, with this. Field, with this. One Charlie is taxiing onto runway 22 for departure. Even with this load, not a problem, huh? Even with, with, with two of us in here. And, uh, oh, yeah, you were. You're 100 feet up at midfield. Yeah. What's the valley look like, though, if you just wanted to fly the valley? Like that? Oh, wide open. I mean, you can land in any of these fields there. Yeah. I mean, look at that altitude already above the field, huh? Yeah. They can shallow it out a little bit. Because it says cross-check attitude. Because and I, when I start climbing too, too, uh, too, uh, too high, what, the, what my Aspen thinks is too much nose pitch up, because you still can see a little bit of the chevron sometimes here. Yep. But if I really pitch up, I get the warning cross-check attitude, cross-check attitude, you know? Well, if you were an IFR, you wouldn't be as aggressive, would you? No, no, of course not. But here, you won't have as much altitude as possible. So that's why I'm actually just about VX. Um, trying to get, gain as much altitude as quickly as possible. 
Okay, so that's a good, good flying. Oh, it's beautiful. Very glad it came down. Okay.